Our final presenter tonight is the Emmy and People's Choice Award-winning actor, film producer, and the current star of CBS's Blue Bloods. Please welcome the man with the coolest mustache you've ever seen in your life, Tommy Selleck. Thank you. Uh, first of all, it's great to be back in Oklahoma. This is, uh, this is a pretty impressive group out here. Um, and I think when you see people you respect and uh, at a gathering like this, it's best to start off by sharing something personal. Um, I don't know, I've lived quite a while, I've learned a few things. So if I could, I'd like to share with you kind of my five rules for living. The first one is never slap a man who chews tobacco. <laughs> the second one is if you had everything you wanted, where would you put it? <laughs> the third one is never buy anything from someone who's out of breath. The fourth one is if you think the problem's bad now, wait till Nancy Pelosi solves it. <laughs> Why did I think that would go over well here? And the last one is the difference between genius and stupidity is genius has its limits. Anyway. On to something a little more important. Um, I first met Bob Funk at the National Cowboy Hall of Fame and Western Heritage Museum, and two things immediately became crystal clear. He is a true cowboy, and he is an Oklahoman. Spend any time with him, and two more things become self-evident, his conservative values, and his patriotism. So it's not surprising that the words God, integrity, people, teamwork, and commitment to excellence are words that line the halls of his company, Express. And they are woven throughout the fabric of every Express franchise across the US, Canada, and South Africa. Bob's success is a beacon of hope to anyone striving to achieve the American dream. Recently, over dinner, we uh, were having a conversation, and as usual, it invariably led to the subject of leadership. If you spend a little time with Bob, it, is, uh, it doesn't take long to see how he inspires people to follow their dreams. I mean, he knows a thing or two about putting people to work. For the past 51 years, this Oklahoma businessman and rancher has poured leadership wisdom into hundreds of thousands of job seekers. He's helped more than six and a half million people find work during his career. Bob's entrepreneur, yeah. Bob's Bob's entrepreneurial spirit has spawned multiple businesses. He enjoys franchising and small business. He sees that as the lifeblood of the American economy. And uh, Bob does not think small. He has led Express Professionals to the largest industrial and administrative staffing company in the US. On top of that, yeah, on top of that, Express Ranches is the largest purebred cattle producer in the U.S., winning thousands of championships in the cattle industry. And his world champion, uh, Express Clydesdales, I can't say that, can I? Express Clydesdales travel extensively around the state of Oklahoma, providing entertainment and raising funds for charities throughout the U.S. and Canada. 
And it just takes the kind of vision Bob has, an unwavering commitment to accomplish big goals. And he will tell you that it's all about hiring talented, hardworking people that share your same vision and purpose. That multiplies success. So it's a true testament to Bob as a father, a friend, and leader that his family and friends gather here tonight to honor and celebrate with him. If you talk to any friend of Bob's, what you'll undoubtedly hear is that Bob is a visionary as well as a kind and generous man. But that generosity doesn't stop with family and friends. Bob has contributed more than $20 million to local organizations and charities, both personally and through the Express Philanthropic Fund. Bob personally owns 32 express offices in the state of Oklahoma, employing nearly 30,000 people each year. That places the company among the top three largest employers in this state. Bob aspires to the notion that everyone deserves to experience the satisfaction and self-esteem that come from being engaged in meaningful work. In short, Express is in the employment ministry. After all, employment impacts all our lives. And when Express helps people find jobs, it helps restore confidence and provides hope. He knows, thank goodness, that there is honor and fulfillment in hard work. So, here we are. And that the good people of Oklahoma are honoring Bob Funk with his induction into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame is, if you will permit me, a very wise choice. <laughs> so, Bob, congratulations, my friend. In 1968, Robert A. Bob Funk chose Oklahoma as his family's new home, lured by opportunity and wonderful people. Leaving his native Washington, Funk relocated to the Sooner State to expand operations as Vice President of Acme Personal Services. Hard times brought about the end of Acme, but Funk's determination to provide hope through a job gave birth to the franchise staffing company that would become Express Employment Professionals. Under Funk's vision and leadership, Express has grown to nearly 800 franchises in the United States, Canada, and South Africa helping more than six and a half million find purpose and opportunity through gainful employment. In 2016 alone, Express generated over $3 billion in sales and employed 510,000 people. Funk's generosity and fun-loving spirit create an approachable and welcoming aura at Express International Leadership Conferences and company celebrations. He takes pride in Express Ranches and is world champion Express Clydesdales escorting Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge on a recent visit. A dedicated rancher, he's the largest registered beef producer in North America. His belief that the children of today are the workforce of tomorrow fuels his philanthropic efforts. Oklahoma Youth Expo, Future Farmers of America, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, and local and national career technical educators are just a few of the causes he supports. Branded Blue Day, Express's National Day of Service that helps fill food pantries across the country, is also near to his heart. Among his numerous honors, Funk served seven years on the U.S. Federal Reserve as Chairman of the Conference of Chairmen and Chairman of the Kansas City Federal Reserve Board of Governors, 
He is an inductee to the International Franchise Association Hall of Fame, was bestowed the honor of Distinction of University Benefactor by the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, and is the recipient of three honorary doctorates from Southern Nazarene University, Oklahoma Baptist University, and Seattle Pacific University. However, no amount of accolades and success instills in him more pride or satisfaction than the love and devotion of his family. It is that love and devotion that guides and sustains the light in the soul of Bob Funk. It's great to be here to celebrate this special moment with my friend Bob. So please welcome Bob Funk. Thank you very much, Tom. I know why all the ladies came tonight. <laughs> but I would like to congratulate all the honorees that have been here tonight. What a wonderful experience it has been. And I want to thank the officers, the directors, the fellow members and staff for this prestigious honor. I'm extremely humbled to be a part of the 2017 class of the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. I'm even more humbled to be selected among so many wonderful, wonderful people in the state of Oklahoma. And I'd like to say a special thank you to the members of my family who are here tonight to share this wonderful moment. My son, Bob Funk Jr., my daughter, Julie, and my sister, Joanne, if you would stand with all your children and grandchildren, I'd like to thank you for being who you are for my life. If you will, please stand. This is not on the script, but I will tell you that my mother had a nervous breakdown when I was two. But my sister is the one that helped grow me up in those early years of my life. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it much. And my companion, Janine, who's traveled many miles with me on a moment's notice to support me on countless business trips and special occasions. I couldn't have reached this pinnacle in my life and my career without your love and support. Thank you, Janine, for being very supportive of me. I want you to know that 48 years ago, I chose all of you in Oklahoma. I had an opportunity to be an upper, in upper management in Seattle, and I chose a lesser position to move to Oklahoma when we bought a service here in Oklahoma City. I chose you because I believed that my dream to be in the ministry and a rancher and an entrepreneur at the same time made Oklahoma the most attractive state in the nation. I'm proud of the fact that Oklahoma is the buckle of the Bible Belt. It has wide open plains for ranching and was built by entrepreneurs who believed in free enterprise for their pioneers, and I was one of those. I believed that there was no better place to live than Oklahoma, and I believed that the American dream could be here in Oklahoma. I believe, of course, that it's it's difficult to describe how much this honor means to so many of you that have helped me to achieve my dreams. I would like to thank the loyal and hardworking Oklahomans who have worked for Express the last 48 years, and I'm grateful for the talent, commitment, and some more support throughout the years. I want to thank my partners, Bill Stoller, Gerald Callahan, Josh Mitchell, and many wonderful retired employees that are here tonight. Would you guys please stand? I'd appreciate each one of you for being here with us tonight. Those people have made an impact on millions and millions of people 
who needed that extra hope that only a job can provide. I also want to thank the Oklahoma business owners, many of you are in this room, who have put their trust in us to provide the people that they needed to work in their businesses. Oklahoma truly is a state that I believe that cares, loves, and prospers together. I've seen it time and time again in our history. In good times and in bad times, Oklahomans are the example for the rest of the world to see. It's our values of faith, family, friends, and integrity that always shines the brightest. And I have worn this cowboy hat for 40 years as an example of Oklahoma's cowboy ethics because I believe it's so important and those, those cattle people are such great people in Oklahoma. The people of Oklahoma have supported and embraced our families, our business, for the first day we arrived, which made a blessing to be in Oklahoma and to make it our home. I had the privilege of knowing many great Oklahomans. One of the first friends I made when I arrived was Governor George Nye. He welcomed me and my family so warmly and wished the success of our business from the first day that I met him. And Governor Frank Keating and, and the First Lady Kathy also have always been there for me as a sounding board and a listening board when, when we were trying to effect positive changes in our great state. I wish politicians today could take a few lessons from these two great men of Oklahoma. More succinctly, I'd like to tell you a short story about a person and I'd like to thank a person by the name of Paul Springfield. As you would recall, of course, the Penn Square Bank went under on July 4th of 1982. Our company fired all four of us vice presidents in September of 1982. But this person provided a loan for me to start Express. I had 5,000 bucks to my name, and he loaned me $150,000, even though I might have had to have mortgaged everything I had to cover it. There was a 14% unemployment and 20% interest rates at the time, but he believed in me. And then as a banker in that day and, and time, you could have character loans. I'm not sure what kind of character he really thought I was. <laughs> but he did know that there was a risk and he was willing to help. And the Oklahoma community bankers of this state, I believe, have done a great job in growing this great state. And if it weren't for Paul and the great loyalty of the employees, there would not be an express today, which has employed over a half a million people in Oklahoma. <clears throat> When I travel the world and tell people about Oklahoma more than anything, I love telling them about what makes Oklahoma a great place to live. It's not just sunsets and wide open plains. It's truly, truly, as was mentioned tonight many times, it is our great people, and many of you are here in this room, the, the Oklahomans that have great values, have servant hearts, and tremendous strong work ethic. And the Oklahoma Hall of Fame is a way to tell that story of Oklahoma through its people. Each person here, I believe, creates the fabric of our great state. If there's one thing I know for sure from my years in the staffing industry, one person can have a tremendous and positive impact on many others. Great states are built one person at a time working together to create greatness that we all enjoy together. I would like to leave you with this thought. I truly believe that we only are as good as the last person we help in our lives. And my dream is that Oklahoma would be for all of us to continue to impact these millions of people around the world as Oklahoma is the crossroads of America but I truly believe it is the pinnacle state of America. I'd like to thank you for the greatest honor of my life. Thank all of the Oklahomans 
for making this a world a better place to worship, work, and live. And God bless each and every one of you, and thank you very much for this honor.